from air. It is now my distinguished honor to introduce the Grand Rabbi Naftali Yehuda Halevi Arts to the Boston Rebbe. Rabbi Rabinowitz, distinguished rabbis, dear friends of Congregation Beth Israel and the Mikvah Project here. It's a great pleasure to be here, understanding the great importance of this mitzvah, of mikvah, and Taras Hamishboch, family purity. I'm reminded of a story of this professor of education who was very popular by his students because he had a special theory. His theory is when you bring up children, you have to do it with complete kindness. Don't rebuke a child, even if he might do something that is out of the ordinary, misconduct, and always smile at your child. And he went through this type of a class and spoke to his students. And one time, after a course, the students, the class was over, the students escorted him back to his home. And as they were escorting him back to his home, he stopped at the front of his house where there was a brand new sidewalk that they cemented that day. And there were a whole bunch of children there. And of course, when children see a brand new sidewalk, I'm sure that Mary can attest to this, what do they do? They put their initials in or a smiley face. Sure enough, they were doing that on the brand new cement sidewalk that was in front of this person's house, the professor. And the professor saw this, and he got all red in the face, and he started screaming at these children, didn't your parents teach you manners? Don't you realize you're doing damage to someone else's property? And the students were aghast. Here. The professor, who we studied for years under his tutelage, is saying, screaming, but this will be the time to explain to the child nicely. So they turn to the professor, and they say to the professor, what's going on here? This is exactly the opposite of what you direct us to do. And the professor answered, I deal in theory. Not in the concrete. <laughs> we hear today to lay some concrete, some cement. But this is not only a physical cement. This is a spiritual cement that puts together and ties together Klal Yisrael. There are three staples to what it means to be an observant Jew. Kashrus, keeping kosher. Shabbos, observing the Sabbath. And mikvah, Taras Hamishpoch, a family period. Kashrus is because as we know today, those that count the calories, that those that look for food that doesn't have cholesterol, all the different non-fat foods, you are what you eat. Kashris is also brought down by Chazal, many different 
Achronim say, you are what you eat. And just like there is a physical, healthy food, the spiritual as well, to nourish the neshama. One staple. Shabbos is what creates our environment, our Sabbath, that we're anchored by what the Shabbos is all about, our day of rest, <coughs> a time when we can have time with our children, with our spouses, where in today's society, everything is instantaneous and we're always on the run. Shabbos anchors the environment spirituality. Mikvah is the third staple of what it means to have the continuous of what it means to be a Jew and to continue that golden chain that we have from one generation to the other, that it's done in the proper fashion from day one. These are the three bonding issues that we have, and that's what makes mikvah so important. <clears throat> At one time in the United States, in the early 30s, or even before that, people said, you know, I'm a Jew, but I have a, I have a Jewish heart. They dealt in theory. Today, across all denominations of Judaism, it's understood that it's not only enough to deal in theory, you have to deal with the basics of the concrete. And that's what we're starting here today, to have another anchor in this wonderful community of Malden <coughs> and this wonderful congregation which is under the spiritual leadership of Rabbi Rabinowitz, together with his Rebetzin. So I want to congratulate you all that Boyri Oyland the Kinyon Hashlegza Binyon, that this edifice will be finished and it will be a schus for all of you and for all of Klai Yisrael that we should only hear good news. Thank you. Amen.